Mm-hmm. Hey, can we talk Twilight? Sure. <laughs> so, so like, I I am not that far away from Forks, which is this the center of the Twilight universe. Right. Do Do you read the books or seen the movie uh-huh. or anything? So, so this. No, my wife does. Okay. My wife, my, my wife has read all of them. Okay. Well, well, this tiny town in in the Olympic Peninsula of Washington State has just been like thousands of fans are flocking to this little town. It's amazing because it happens to be the center of this Twilight universe. And and it's a town of like 8,000 people and then within like the last three months they've already had like 25,000 tourists just to come there because that's the name was mentioned in the book. I wonder what the locals of I wonder what the 8,000 locals in Forks think about that. Well, they, they have, <laughs> the, the amazing thing of that is they have embraced it with wholehearted, and they're, they, uh, they bought like, uh, oh, this, this orange pickup truck thing that, and they painted it to look like the one in the movie. They, they have like Twilight tours. There are stores and antique stores that have sort of converted into some Twilight ties. They're, they, they, it's really amazing how they have embraced it. And, uh, uh, and I guess I, I was really fascinated with, with Justin touring with Stephanie Myers, and and I'm wondering, you know, I mean, the fans seem to be like flocking to you guys, and and are like sort of converting your songs, which probably have nothing to do with vampires and werewolves, into vampire and werewolf songs. What do you think about all that? Right. <clears throat> I think it's great. Yeah, you know? I think it's fantastic. And, and and I actually got to meet Stephanie when we played in Salt Lake City. Uh-huh. Uh, she came out for a show and hung out. We all met her, and, and she was just such a, a genuine person. Like, she's just, just a good person. You know, I mean, you know, when you meet somebody and, and they try to call with you and they don't. And she really did. You know, I mean, she, she really, so she really just, just gave me a really good feeling and I just felt like she was just somebody I was proud to be associated with, you know, on a, on a business level, you know, because what she's doing is, is, is really cool. You know, and, um, and the fact that, that all, you know, it, it's, it's help, it obviously helps spread the word about us, which is fantastic. I mean, you can't put a, a price tag on that. It's a beautiful thing. It's, it's fantastic. But, but more, more than anything, I think that artistically, it's such a cool thing to see because it all it all came about with her just being a fan of our music. And she said in the back of one of her books, I believe it was uh, Eclipse, okay. um, where she, she gives... She basically pays homage to the band that she listened to while she was writing that inspired her as she was writing his books. So she says, you know, Blue October, she, you know, mentioned us and one of the bands that inspired her. That's like, wow. You know what I mean? Really? Mm-hmm. I mean, those, those books are huge. I mean, it's a, it's a Twilight phenomenon. I can't think of anything that compares to it right now. You know, it's amazing. No, it's and more for Harry Potter. Her to know <laughs> us as a band, yeah. For, well, for her, for her to know us as a band that influenced her on that level is very, very, it's incredibly flattering, and it's just such a, it's such a cool thing. And so when, uh, when she did that, you know, and then we reached out to her, and um, and her and Justin wound up connecting and doing a book tour, it's such a positive thing. You know, I mean, it really was. It's, it's just such a cool thing, and just to be associated with that and know that. Somebody that is as talented as her actually psyched up even influences. Um, it feels really good. Are, are you seeing Twilight shirts and stuff in your audience now? Yep. I sure am. That's funny that you asked that because I've really noticed it in the last, you know, since we started, obviously, the Approaching Normal campaign. I see a lot of Twilight shirts at our shows. That's, and, uh, and, um, is the demographic the same? I'm not sure. <laughs> Well, you know, our demographic, you can't really pigeonhole our demographic in the first place, so that's really hard to answer. Okay. Um, we've always appealed to the whole spectrum, you know, like fans in their 70s. I mean, we have grandparents that come out to those shows, to little kids with their parents, to teenage, you know, to teenagers. and So it's really hard to tell demographically. I don't think it's changed much at all, but I think it's definitely obviously helped our fan base grow, you know, and, and when I see those shirts or, you know, the Twilight, uh, you know, the, uh, the crowd or, you know, standing in line, you know, getting tickets or whatever, to me, it's like, I'm sure some of that is some of our fans have actually sort of represented that they love Twilight and do our service, so they kind of marry the two ideas and then they come to the show. But I think a lot of that also has to be a lot of Twilight fans that got turned on the Blue October, you know, that are representing in that way. You know, and either way, it's a damn cool thing, you know. 
What, what do you think about them sort of embracing the songs and sort of making them vampire songs and, and stuff like that? I think it's awesome, man. <laughs> I mean, it's great. Because, you know, I mean, whatever it is, you know, um, I mean, that's something completely unhealthy. Like, whenever you're talking about somebody interpreting uh, a song or a lyric or poetry or, or anything, and, and basically interpreting it in their own way, what more could you ask for? Right. You know what I mean? Isn't that kind of what it's all about? Yeah. You know what I mean? To have somebody say, well, this is what I think that this, this means. Whether that's what you wrote or not is completely irrelevant. I mean, the fact that somebody can take it and make it their own, and, you know, I mean, I don't really know really what the word is to describe that, but if somebody can interpret something that you write and it's special to them, that's what really matters. So- that's that's very cool. Very very good, nice thought. It's and you just for the record. So then you said that your your wife's read all the books and and uh, but but you but you haven't. I have not read the books um, because basically the only reason I haven't because I've heard such good things about them. The only reason I haven't is because I still have three books that I haven't even gotten to yet <laughs> <laughs> sitting on my shelf. So I sort of have a waiting list. Like I'm going to read them, but I know how they I, uh, yeah. I have. You know, books I've received as gifts over the years, like the birthday and Christmas and everything. I'm just not quite caught up yet. <laughs> How about have you seen the movie? I saw, yeah, I did. I okay. did see the movie. I thought it was good. Right know? on. Um, everybody tells me that the books are a lot better than the movie. I don't and remember. What were you in? The, were you on the soundtrack for the movie? I can't remember. Like the actual no, soundtrack? No, we were not on the soundtrack. Um, we weren't on the soundtrack for Twilight, but I, I, I think there's talk about New Moon. I'm not sure what's going to happen with that. Though. For the New Moon one? So we'll see. Hopefully. 